Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, Thanksgiving is today. I'm gonna be posting this after the fact, but you know, since I was gonna be spending time with family, gonna be doing some, probably gonna run some errands, do some chores, as in like clean my room for the 50th time this week. Probably gonna run to the gym real quick, just so I can, you know, feel a little better about stuffing my face today. Honestly, nothing too crazy on my agenda, but I wanted to take you guys along with me throughout the day. I already washed my face and brushed my teeth. Um, I think I'm going to go to the gym now to have like an early workout. And then I'm going to start cooking. I'm not going to make anything crazy, but I've been really trying to get the mac and cheese, like baked mac and cheese recipe down because I, like, I really love it. So I've done it a few times before, but I really want to perfect that. So definitely seen like it slowly progressing, like getting better, but it's still not where like I want it to be. I just feel like you have to put a lot of like a shit ton of cheese in there for it to be good, honestly, because that's literally the only way for it to taste good. But yeah, I'm probably going to do some research to see what other like tips and tricks there are to make it as delicious as I've had it before, because... It's still not there. It has a way to go. So yeah, once I make that, I also bought like a, not pumpkin pie, an apple pie. But that's not anything I'm really gonna, you know, have to prepare. But other than that, probably just gonna clean my room a little bit. And I think the nail salons are closed. So I would try to squeeze in a nail appointment too, but that's probably just not realistic, especially considering the busyness of all the businesses right now like even if it were to be open i feel like it would just be packed and i don't have the energy to deal with that today so that's to be determined but i'm just going to start getting ready for thanksgiving dinner with my family i'm probably not gonna like film too much while i'm there because when i'm with family and you know there's just some moments where you don't necessarily want to be recording all the time you just want to be in the moment you know you want to be present so that's what my day is gonna look like i don't know if i'm gonna do black friday shopping if i do then i'm also going to make sure i record that for y'all i'm sure shit like shit is gonna go down you know what i mean but more likely than not i'm not gonna do that because me and my family did it one year and babes let's just say we learned our lesson we thought that that was a sign that we should never do black friday shopping again it was it could have been worse but it was it was a very it was a bad situation it, it was a bad situation it's giving an extended family member was was withheld by security well that could be another story time but <laughs> you guys get the gist so stay tuned um i'm also gonna get my coffee at some point today and talk to you guys some more just about like life a little bit i don't know but you know i love to romanticize everything so at least that's what my friends say so i will get ready for the gym and start my day honestly i'm starting it pretty late it's already like 12 because i wanted to not think ahead and stay up until 3 a.m yesterday so i did that to myself but yeah like comment and subscribe if you end up liking this video check out my other videos if you do and Stay tuned for the vlog. Okay, so update guys. I actually did not end up going to the gym because we're having issues with the second car in the back, but that's a bummer because I really was looking forward to it. But you know, it happens. I gotta do what I gotta do. But because of that, I think I'm just gonna clean my room for a little bit. I don't have much time. Apparently we have to meet up at like five. So I'd start cooking in like an hour. So I'm gonna clean my room. Probably gonna get ready around Four, but I'm gonna clean my room, start cooking, and start getting ready because we really don't have much time. My ass really woke up late as hell, so I feel like I lost most of today already, which is annoying, but that's usually why I like waking up earlier. I mean, I did wake up early, but I like went back to sleep because I literally had four or five hours of sleep, and I was like, this is not sustainable, so I want to sleep for like two more hours. But still, I ended up waking up late and starting my day late which i don't enjoy now that i'm in because i feel like you your whole day just goes by you know and that's just not sustainable i feel like i'm wasting time i'm also gonna light my candles it's gonna be a good day honestly i feel like the short break it's still break i feel like it's very much 
needed i have to figure out my plans with my best friend i'm not gonna call her my best friend because like she's gonna be on my channel a lot so cheyenne and i are planning on also renting out an airbnb soon and like doing a whole thing there like bar hopping in the city like we're from here, obviously, like we're from Philly, but we want to just get away from, you know, our day-to-day -day life and just enjoy ourselves because you really don't have enough time to do that when you're an adult, honestly. And we understand that like we're still transitioning into that period. We're not necessarily like at our max responsibilities yet. So yeah, I think it would be nice to do that, but we'll see. We'll see if we can like consolidate our plans by the end of today. Outside of that, I oh, hope this is a switch up in terms of like actually being able to see what my day-to-day -day looks like. I'm gonna fast forward this part while I'm cleaning. Just start off with my bed. Once I've done, I'm gonna light my candles because that's usually like symbolic in my head of a clean room. Um, I also have to do some laundry, so I might start that, but obviously not finish because I already have enough shit to do. Since I love to procrastinate and put things on the back burner. Um, LOL, I'm salty as shit. I'm really... Okay guys, we talk about Okay, it's like it's giving something. Like I'm seeing some progress, but we still got a way to go, so It's hot as hell in here. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. There's one thing I can't stand is being hot. It could be as cold as Antarctica in this bitch. And I'm very comfortable with that. I'd rather layer stuff on. But when it's hot, bro, there's only so much you can do. I'm not gonna do like walk around butt ass naked all the time. No. <laughs> no. It's like one of those things that actually make me like stressed, you know? It makes me not stressed but like anxious it's like crowds like people in my personal space unwarranted gotta put some clothes away Holding my clothes is actually one of those things that like make me feel internally happy. Just so satisfying. Say you don't wanna pay for therapy without saying you don't wanna pay for therapy. <laughs> Use cleaning, you know, addictions like coffee, um, the gym to get all your stress out. We love that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm tempted to really just wear my um sweater dress, not my sweater dress, my oversized shirt dress i don't even know what that's called a tunic to thanksgiving because it's like something simple i'd rather just throw something on than like overthink it you know i think i do want to wear some heels though just to be a little extra probably wear heels jeans oh actually i feel like i see an outfit that might be a look my mind but i don't know okay i'm gonna show you guys once i like finish putting these clothes away but also guys, I just realized a few of my jackets are, probably only just like two, are from Primark, bro. They be hooking it up. Like this one, I wore this in my last vlog, if you guys saw. It's like a, I don't know if this is considered a Sherpa. Hmm. But it's, it's like a fuzzy jacket. It's not too thick, but it's, it's just thick enough, honestly. Cause I hate wearing like, yes, fall and winter are cute seasons, but sometimes when you have to like layer up too much, it's not even cute anymore, but that's not a problem with that. So you guys should check it out. It's that one and my black puffy jacket. 
I don't think 20 to 30 dollars for like a staple layer like a jacket or something is bad compared to other places guys I actually need you to see what my laundry pile looks like right now because I have a habit of like waiting for things to literally pile up before doing them it was just a procrastinator in me but I feel like I like dedicating like block time just to get something out the way I don't like gradually doing stuff but it kicks me to ass sometimes because I'm like now I have well, you'll see in a second I have too much clothes where it's like overwhelming you know I really just don't want to do it but obviously I'm gonna have to so I'm gonna have to suck it up and take care of it I mean I've definitely waited longer though so comparatively it's not that bad but it could always be worse so that's not good logic I'm gonna do my laundry today I'm gonna start it at least because this is just not acceptable okay guys I'm gonna show you what this looks like because wow this is literally my pile of clothes right now that's clean I just have a lot of clothes but that's what I <laughs> please tell me that y'all also procrastinate and wait like just two or three weeks to do your laundry the thing about being an anxious person I think it just all stems from anxiety or perfectionism but I was telling somebody the other day like it feeds itself you know it's like a never-ending cycle you're too scared to start because you're scared of messing up or you're scared of it not being perfect whatever it may be but the more you don't start the less perfect it is or the longer it takes for you to be perfect because you need to mess up to be perfect you know what i mean it's a never-ending cycle so it's it's definitely something i need to work on it's a lot of unlearning that needs to happen there but i know for me that that's one thing that i always have to like work on like i've always been super hard about myself slash very like stickler about things being perfect aka a perfectionist but that's just not how the life works that's not how things function that's not how the world functions you can't function like that in the world if you want to you know that's something i definitely need to <laughs> i'm working on i am actively working on but yeah that's my spiel about laundry and how that something as small as that honestly tells you a lot about your self your personality that gets back to what i was telling you guys before in terms of like learning yourself we all have flaws and stuff you know but it's important to take the time to do the work in terms of building self-awareness like being able to tell yourself i'm not perfect and these are my imperfections but there's room to grow you know like it's not just this is how i am i'm gonna take it as it is because it's so easy to think like that but you're not really going to get anywhere with that type of mindset honestly that's the most frank way to put it. If you want to be better, you have to do better. And that's just, that's just what it is. For the most part, I'm done cleaning my room. I'll probably see you guys again once I'm cooking. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of like me cooking and me getting ready. And then a little bit of tonight. Apparently my sister's going to our Thanksgiving celebration, which is a huge surprise because she has like an off-campus apartment at her school. So she only comes home every like now and then, but I'm excited to see her because I don't really spend much time with her. Okay guys, I feel like no matter how much I clean, my bed looks a mess because I have to move stuff around. There's just, there's not enough space in here for my shirt. 
honestly. Yeah, I was rushing to make the mac and cheese, so I honestly did not film anything. But I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. Um, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna fast forward this part because, you know, if you do want makeup content, uh, content, I will definitely provide that. Just let me know, you know, the drill. But at this point, I'm like, that's not really the focus of the video and I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing it and walking through it when that's not what we're here for. It's a vlog, you know? Don't wanna do too much. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Let me know if you have any questions about like my makeup routine or like, let me know if you have any tips on how I can do anything better. Cause like, I'm still learning, honestly. Definitely gotten a lot better since I first started doing makeup, but still learning. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and show you guys the finished product. I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end, including the outfit. So. Okay, we'll make a false in my eyebrow.
Okay, not the hip hop pants. I don't know how I feel about this. It's like a little excessive. But I'm not gonna take it off, so. I don't know how I feel about my hair out either. My hair down. Don't really wear it down anymore. But. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my pants. I'll show you guys my outfit, macaroni, and then we're gonna leave. But I do not forget this. Then, okay, so apparently my mom likes it, so we're just gonna keep it like that. Honestly, I really wanted to do the white pants. Let me show you guys what the fit was gonna look like. I'm not even gonna put on the shoes though. So it was gonna be these shoes. Possibly this purse. I'm gonna look like a rainbow, but it's fine. Probably gonna wear my cream jacket again. And I'll show you the shoes that I was gonna wear. I mean, the pants. I was gonna wear these pants, but I'm not sure how I feel about the fit. Also, it has some stains on it. Like, I'm not trying to mess up the fit by looking like a dirty bitch, you know? So, let's see what I end up changing into. Okay, so I need to fix the way that I tied them because I was just rushing. But this is the outfit. Wearing the same jeans as I wore last time. But it's the shoes. I already know my family's going to say something about some of my skin showing, but... Ask me how many fucks I give. Not many. So I'm gonna show them the macaroni real quick and then we're gonna go because we're running late as usual. So I'll see you guys downstairs and then I'm gonna film a little bit at Thanksgiving and probably just film when I get back because like I said, I just rather enjoy my time with my family while I'm with them than just be on my phone the whole time. So, all right, I'll see you guys soon. Hi, hey, you're, hi. So pretty. you're gonna be in my Thank vlog. You. Thank you. What? You're gonna be in my vlog. Do a spin. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Why so far? Why are you so far? Jamie. Who is this? Who is this? This is from my blog. Say hi, mom. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> now her putting on the fake voice. Hey, can you see? Hello. <laughs> Say hi, mama. Hi, mama. <laughs> Say hi, mama. Say happy Thanksgiving, guys. Hi, 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 hi perro. Oh, don't do that. What you say? Hi, perro. Say hi, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, baby. Oh, you try, mama. Happy Thanksgiving, babes. Hi, baby. Okay, that's good enough. Say see you later. See you later. At the party. My party. Where we're eating. We're eating. I'm so hungry. My sister's yummy mac and cheese. Say yummy yeah, mac and cheese. Say yay. Yay. Woo. Woo. See you later. See you later. Here she go with the childish shit. Mommy, sorry. Mom, this is Mommy? the daughter sorry. you raised. Mommy, sorry. <laughs> Say you the baby. You were the baby of the family. If I was saying you were the baby of the family. Mm -hmm. her ass. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm smacked as fuck. I'm trying to pretend like I'm not. Don't even. Don't know why I did this to myself. It's always do, but. We're at Wawa now. I'm gonna get some coffee and then go back with fam. So. Still struggling. Yo, I literally put the camera on so you could talk. How do you How do you not get stressed out? If you don't think, you don't stress yourself out. So you don't be stressed because you don't be thinking. Yeah, exactly. That makes 
Ooh. Put that on a blanket. You need a pillow? Why would I put that on a blanket? Oh my gosh. Right over your head. People stitch blankets with saying sometimes. Okay. Hey guys, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I am ready for bed. I, as I said earlier, don't know why that's like that, but end of the day makeup. Like I said earlier, I only got like, I got a good amount of sleep kind of, but at the same time, I have not been sleeping that much regularly. So I feel like it's catching up with me, but I'm back from Thanksgiving dinner with my family. It was really nice. We actually ended up looking at some old memories, like photo albums, looking through them. And it's just crazy how time flies and how things change like so often in life. I don't know it's funny because i was telling my mom some of those pictures i feel like she's younger than me at this point like looking she's younger than she was younger in the, some of those pictures than i am at this point in my life so it's just it's it's just crazy life is crazy thinking very deep into it but yeah um the food is really good of course it's not polite to record while you're at the table so i did not but i'm gonna show you guys what a plate looked like but just imagine it like warm and fresh instead you know what i'm saying i got you it's literally not doing it justice but yeah guys um like i was saying i'm pretty tired so I think I'm gonna watch Sunset, Sound Like Sunset again, cause I watch one. My thing is I'll be starting shit when it's too late and I know I'm not gonna continue watching it. So I started it, I don't know if it was yesterday, I think it was the day before yesterday. <sighs> I was really getting into it, but I was like, I'm too tired, bro. I can't afford to force myself to stay up to watch another episode or two when I know I'm exhausted. Like that's how I usually mess up my sleep schedule even more. So I was not trying to do that, but yeah, I'm honestly tempted. So I made mac and cheese, but I bought an apple pie to bring. Oh, tell me why I forgot to bring it. I left it in the cabinet, which is good. Cause like my greedy ass will definitely be eating that either today or tomorrow or at some point, but it was for the whole family. Like there's no way we're gonna eat all this. I mean, we'll do it if we have to, but it's a lot for us. So I'm tempted now considering we're back at home. I finished my Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not even like hungry right now. I just feel like because I know I have it, I want some. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just a badass in me. But yeah, let me know if you guys can relate, <laughs> right? You guys can relate. It's not just me. That's why I don't. When I like am going on a diet, I just don't buy the things that I shouldn't be eating, or I like. You know what I'm saying? Like I make sure I'm not buying that much of it so that I can pace myself a little better. But I'm just going on a rant again, honestly. Like what am I even talking about? Yeah, today was pretty fun. I had good food, good company. It just, everything felt right, honestly. So I couldn't ask for much more. Saw my dad for a little bit. I think that like I'm at a place in my life where things are really just coming full circle. I don't know, I'm at this stage in my life where it's very much about like closure and acceptance and healing. And that's just powerful, let me say that. It's an, emotion, it's an emotional roller coaster it feels like, but I think as low as the lows can get, it feels nice to like be able to move forward from a lot of things, a lot of baggage, you know, even holding on in the past. You guys don't even know the specifics, so I feel like you're probably just confused, but I don't know. We all have our stages in life, especially something about 23, something about the, not mid 20s, but like as you're approaching your mid 20s, where you're like really just thinking about life differently and you're learning a lot about yourself and you're working on yourself, you know? So selfish years is what you call them, but I'm so glad that I'm going through this right now, honestly, because I feel like I'm going to be so much better off once I do. I feel like everyone is better off once they do. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my vlog and let me also let me know what else you guys like want to see i want to start like making this consistent enough where you're like really experiencing every day with me thank you guys for watching my video i hope you enjoyed i hope you stay tuned let me know if you want to watch more vlogs or any other specific content that you would like to see from me i'll be reading the comments and hope that you guys stay tuned for the next video